Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with savory chocolate sea salt crostini. That's right, a savory chocolate dish, perfect for special occasions, holiday parties, very, very interesting idea. Of course, it could be a dessert also, but I'm going to show you how to do this savory style, and then we'll talk about it later. First, we're going to take some really good French baguette. Now, when we cut this, if we cut straight across, they're going to be a little short. If you cut at too much of an angle, then your piece is too long. So I like to go at just a very slight angle. And really, this is up to you. But I'm just going to turn a knife just a hair so they're a little bigger than the width of the bread. So something like that. All right. Now, the most important thing here really isn't so much length. It's the height. Because we're going to put these under the broiler. And if some are taller than others, they're going to brown faster. So we want to make sure we get those pretty even. I'm going to put those under a hot broiler just for a couple minutes until the first side's golden brown. All right, when the first side's golden brown, we're going to flip those over. You can use tongs. Don't burn your fingers like me. All right, both sides have been browned. I'm going to flip it back over to the first side. Why? Because that's going to be more of a concave side up, and that's going to hold our stuff better. And by stuff, I mean a very intense, very fruity, full-flavored olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I know this sounds crazy, putting olive oil with chocolate. All right, but just trust me here. This totally works. I want the olive oil to retain its fruitiness, its full flavor, so I don't want it cooked. That's why we're putting it into the cooked bread. All right, once they're soaked with a really good olive oil, I'm going to push in a piece of dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. We don't want unsweetened chocolate, but we do want a bittersweet, just barely sweet chocolate for this to taste as intended. And of course, you can read a lot more about the chocolate choices on the blog post. So what I did is I turned my broiler off from toasting the bread, but it's still warm in the oven. I'm going to put these in just for two minutes, no heat, just the warmth of the oven, and that's enough to melt that chocolate. And it's going to still hold its shape, which is very cool, but it will be molten, okay? And you saw me do the little tapa tapa there with the pan. That was just to sort of flatten the chocolate out a little bit. See, I don't want to spread it. I could use a knife to spread it, but I don't want to. I want to leave it like that because it looks cool. Then we're going to take a sea salt, any flaky sea salt. Luckily, my friend Linda in Seattle, Salty Seattle, makes sea salt for me. But any sea salt will work, but you want something that has a large flake to it. Now, see how that looks like a ton? It's not. Flaky salt takes up a lot more volume. It looks like a lot more than it is. So don't let the salt scare you. And that's it. The magic of this, the toasted bread that's then soaked with the olive oil, peppery, slightly bitter, full-flavored olive oil with that bittersweet chocolate kind of melting into it. The salt brings it all together. It is an amazing, savory bite. Fantastic with red wine as a past hors d'oeuvre. So this works as a party snack anytime, but especially for the holidays when you want something a little more decadent, a little more interesting, a little more out of the ordinary. Hey, come on chocolate olive oil salt hors d'oeuvre you can't beat that so i hope you give these a try all the ingredients are on the site even though you know you basically saw all four ingredients but there's more info there if you want and as always enjoy <laughs>